In today's quick video, I'm going to tell you about a four month long test that I did between the Zippo and the Exotac Titan Light. That's what's coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. So, first of all, let me say right off the bat, we got a really overcast afternoon. We're in the flight path for Atlanta Airport, so um, a lot of planes are coming in. I don't know if it's low or what it is, but it's really noisy. Uh, we got some new puppies next door, too, so just <laughs> Welcome to Brian's World. Anyway, October the 16th, 2018, which um, at the time of this video was 128 days ago, I filled up this Zippo lighter and this Titan light full to the brim with fluid. Checked them out, make sure they would both light. Put the Ranger band back up on the Zippo. You can see I've got the Ranger band on there. Um, and put the cap back on the, the uh, Titan light. And decided just to wait and see what would happen. So, and I've checked these things about once a month to see if they were still burning or whatever. So, um, we're going to open them up now. This is a four month period. I think that's a pretty good time to check it out. Um, and I, I needed to make a video anyway, so I thought this would be a good time to do it. We'll just see if they if they held for four months. So, um, without further rambling, let's take you down to the brand new stump top, and uh, we'll. S get to doing some of that lighter stuff okay first of all just so there's no hanky panky here just to let you know we are come on google you can see there hopefully you can see that get where you can see it's february the 21st 2019 the day after my birthday actually so here we have it here's the uh zippo and here's the exotac and I want to say, well, before we do this, let me just sh show you a little footage of the Exotac. Um, I took this on a camp out with me, and this was before I started the test. This was in probably August, I think. We went um, canoeing with the Boy Scouts, and I tied this along with some other Exotac products to a rope and drug it around behind the canoe in the water for the, the better part of an hour. And then I took it out to see if it was going to work well, and it did. So that that is a, a testimony to the seals in this thing. I thought that'd be just a, a little extra footage, something good to show you. I didn't tie the Zippo anywhere, but there's no way to tie it really. But but this thing does have a Ranger band, which is what people recommend to keep the uh, fluid from evaporating. So the biggest drawback to a Zippo lighter, these kind of lighters, is is the liquid fluid, liquid fuel does evaporate, can evaporate, and it can leak in your pocket and stuff. But if it evaporates, then you basically just got a sparker wheel. It's really hard to make a fire. So first of all, we'll take the that Titan light out and some couple things are cool about this and I've done a review of it but it's worth looking at again it has almost like a one single single thread this is a machined aluminum made in the USA um, and you can take the top off like so and if you want to fill it up you take the bottom off got an o-ring on both sides and then it also has a replace we can replace the flint and all that good stuff in it so and see it's working so this is four months ago. Um, not refilled any either one of these in four months, and I have taken the lid off a couple of times, like I say, to check them out, and they were still working every month. So I just wanted to, you know, as long as they were working, I wanted to see how long they would last. So we got this one at 128 days. It's working. We'll pull the uh, roll the Ranger band down off of this one now, and you can see the Ranger band's in good shape. There's nothing wrong with it. Open it up, and we'll see if she'll light. And it's sparking really well. But it ain't lighting. Let's see, maybe fluff this up a little bit. See if it's got any any fuel left in it. Um, and it's no, nah, she's she's bone dry in there. So, um, I will say, uh, last month it was working, so it did last about what that's about three months, something like that. So. It's, we we're going on about four months or so with it now, so uh, th it lasted about three months. The Exotac is gone um, again, four months, working really good. Don't really know how much fuel is left in it, but I can't imagine that any of it has evaporated out because it just hasn't. Um, it's it's still wet. You see, look, see my finger, still wet. So plenty of fuel left in there, um, which is good. So um, now again. You know, this is gonna this the price on the Exotech is is about five times what you can get a Zippo for. I think you can get a Zippo for about ten bucks at Walmart. The Exotech lists for 
50 bucks, you might find them for about 45 online somewhere. So significantly more expensive, no doubt about it, but also apparently significantly um, better for the long term as far as um, fuel evaporation and everything else on waterproof. I don't think you could drag this Ranger Band or not behind a canoe and it still worked. Certainly can't let it sit for four months and it still worked. So there you go. Okay, well that is a, hopefully a quick look at the results of a, about a four month long test between a Zippo lighter with a Ranger Band on it, a big fat Ranger Band too by the way, and the Exotac Titan Light. Now again, uh, it bears repeating, uh, this is about 10 bucks, and this is about 50 bucks ballpark. Um, so certainly a lot more money, but if it's something you're gonna put in a survival kit and you're gonna just stick it in the closet or stick it in your pack somewhere and you just don't wanna think about it, even though it's more money, it, my money would probably be on the, the Exotac simply because it is still, there's plenty of fluid still left in it. I mean, I could just touch the bottom of it and my finger got wet. This is bone dry after four months. Um, I would venture to say you could probably, this would probably last a long time. I'm going to leave this thing and we'll do it. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to use it. We're going to leave it just like it is. And we'll do a follow up on this thing um, some, sometime later, maybe this year, maybe a year from now. We'll just see. I'm just going to put this on the shelf and Remind me from time to time in the comments, ask me about the Titan light. We'll check it out and maybe I'll just, I'll just throw it in a video every now and then see how, how well it's working. But I think that's pretty cool so far. So anyway, if you're looking for a really long-term dependable way to make sure you're going to have a, a source of really instant, instant flame, because this is, there's nothing that beats just cl flicking something and having actual flame to get a fire going. And I especially like these is over a bick even because you don't have to continue to hold it down. Once you light it, it's lit. You can set it underneath something and, and just let it burn for a little while and then take it out if you need to get some, some marginal some marginal tin or something going. So anyway, that's the uh, Titan Light versus the Zippo. And, and I like Zippos, don't get me wrong, but I guess I really like the Titan Light. And by the way, just to be clear, I did buy the Zippo several years ago. The folks at Exotech sent me the Titan Light and a bunch of other stuff several months back so I could check them out and test them and do some evaluation on them and show them to you. So uh, thanks to the folks at Exotech for that. Um, and as always, thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. I put out a brand new video every Friday and every Saturday and very often random videos throughout the week. There's another one right there. And if you're not subscribed, if you click down in the corner, click that little subscribe button, that little bell icon, you won't miss a single video. I really appreciate your support. Once again, my name's Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident. So be prepared. I'll see you next time.